So uh, a little update on the car. Um, I'm going to keep these quite short. I've uh, unfortunately I've just bashed on with the with the disc swap. So I'll try and do a, a brief description of how we did it. Um, we have taken out the old 354 diff and we've stuck the 41 diff in. So I'll give you a little look at the diff we've we've just taken out of the car. So here's a little look at the diff we've just removed from the car. This is the 354 diff I was telling you about. This is a fairly sort of standard RS diff. It's an open diff. If you're if you're ever wondering yourself how I've just figured this out for myself actually, but if you're ever wondering how you can tell what kind of diff it is you have in your car, once you remove it, basically all you have to do is count the number of teeth on your crown wheel. Um, so I'll put a little mark, black marker or something on one of the teeth. Count round, blah blah blah. And count all the teeth to the same thing with your pinion. Count all the teeth in your pinion. Um, and divide the two. And you will come up with, like what I did with this one, 3.54. 354 diff. So there you go. I'm sure you all know that, but I thought I'd enlighten you in case you didn't. So like I say, <clears throat> unfortunately we just kind of went went ahead with this one and um, we just replaced the diff. So here is a little brief description of kind of how, how you go about doing that. Honestly, um, a bit too early to decide yet if I'm going to keep it or not. I think I will. Like I say, the 354 diff was a bit of an all-rounder. It was, you know, good in long runs, good in the motorway, wasn't too revvy. Uh, it wasn't very easy to do donuts or slides and roundabouts, blah de blah you know, as you want to do in a Mark II Escort. The 4-1 diff is a lot more revvy. First gear, second gear, third gear, you're in it. For quite a shorter period of time and it kind of revs quite a lot if that makes sense um fourth gear you can leave it in there for a wee bit longer and then you're in fifth gear i think if you didn't have the fifth gear and the and the four one diff i think you would struggle it would just run out of steam basically um i think it's all right i think i need to take it for a longer run um i'll do a not to 60 and let's see how that see how that goes um, but I think it, it's a bit more of a, you know, you feel a bit more like a hooligan with the 4-1 definite, you know, it's uh, it's definitely a bit more revvy. Um, I put my foot down a wee bit going around a couple of roundabouts there and, you know, you can feel the back end going a bit, which is great fun. So <laughs> I, may, I may keep in for that and uh, it's whether or not I'm going to lock that diff down or not is the uncertainty. I may feel like I want to go in between a 354 and a 41, maybe a 389 diff. But for the fact that this is only, you know, maybe 150 brake horsepower engine, um, maybe the 41 diff, you get the best out of the engine, perhaps. Um, so I'm going to take it, my next video, I'm going to take on a longer run, do a comparison, a little sort of comparison video between. The not to 60 times, maybe try to do a few wee skids in, <laughs> skids in it and see see how skiddy it is. Hope you liked the video, I kept it short. Um, and yeah, look out for the next video where I'll do the comparison. Thanks.